Good morning, YouTube. It's a nice late summer day, but it is getting closer to heating season. So I thought I'd make a video to start off my solar heating playlist and describe my original space heating system. I have an enclosed patio in the southeast corner of my house that gets morning and early afternoon sun, and it warms up quite nicely in the winter. I used to leave the doors and windows into that patio enclosure open on cold days to let a bit of heat into the house. I suppose that was version zero of my solar heat system. Then I ran across an interesting solar greenhouse cooling fan from Harbor Freight back in 2007. I'll add a link in the video description to a typical installation in a greenhouse so you can see what it was designed for. It consisted of a pair of 12 volt, 15 watt amorphous solar panels on a small metal stand that you can see up on my roof. The large solar hot air collectors behind the panels are part of my current space heating system. Stay tuned for a future video about that. It also included this 170 mm 12 volt DC fan rated for about 200 cubic feet per minute. It does move a fair amount of air and still works fine seven years later. I found it fit perfectly in a 7 inch round duct adapter which I installed in a styrofoam panel that fits into a bathroom window opening. That fan would push heated air into the bathroom in the center of the house, then an open door into the patio allowed cool air to return completing the loop. The last part of the system was this small control box that combined a solar charge controller and a thermostat for the fan. The battery was optional and not included. The battery output seemed to be a rudimentary PWM type charge controller. The controller uses an adjustable bivental thermostat that turns the fan on and off at a set temperature. I found a few issues with this controller. One is there are no adjustments for battery type, float voltage, etc. Another is that the fan output is pulse width modulated to around a 50% duty cycle which makes the fan run slow. I suspect this was done to allow the two small solar panels to charge the battery as the fan would otherwise draw about as much current as the panel's output. A final issue with the controller was the, the touchy thermostat. It would work for a few days, then need adjustment, then work a few more days. I traced part of the problem to the bimetal switch being housed inside the same box as the power electronics. If the sun was shining strong, charging the battery, and the fan was going full speed, the box would heat up. That would keep the temperature above the set shutoff point, and the fan would keep blowing cold air into the house long after it should have stopped. I suppose placing the box into the fan's airflow would have helped with that problem, but that was not possible with my installation. I did use this system for a number of heating seasons, and it worked quite well. Eventually the old battery I had connected quit working. Then one winter I started redoing the patio enclosure, so I lost my source of heated air. That is when I put together version 2 of the, my heating system, and I'll cover that in a follow-up video. But the two Harbor Freight solar panels and the fan are still used in my current heating system. I use solar power for nearly all my home heating. The furnace has not been used in over 10 years. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, so be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to this channel to get future updates. Thanks for watching.